Welcome to another tour. The vehicle we'll be showcasing in this video will be this 2017 Chevrolet Malibu LT. This Malibu is finished in the mosaic black metallic exterior color. It does have smart key access whereby if you have the key fob on you, you're able to lock and unlock the vehicle just by using the button on the door handle. On the driver's door panel, you have some storage, speaker for your audio system. You got all the power controls for your windows, mirrors, and door locks. The interior of this Malibu is finished in jet black with cloth seat upholstery, although leather is an option on the LT. The driver's seat does have full power adjustments. And now that we're behind the wheel, let's go ahead and start the engine. On the key fob, got the buttons for lock, unlock, remote start, trunk release, and panic. And along with smart key access, it does have push button ignition, so make sure the key fob's in the vehicle. Put your foot on the brake, and hit the button to go. While companies like Ford and General Motors have recently been discontinuing many of their four-door sedans due to sedans dwindling in popularity in favor of crossovers, in Chevrolet's case, the Cruze and Impala, there are still many sedans that haven't bit the dust yet, one of which being Chevrolet's mid-size family sedan offering, the Malibu. The Malibu dates back to 1964 when it debuted as a trim level of the Chevrolet Chevelle. It was produced for three generations until 1977 as a Chevelle trim, but for the Malibu's fourth generation in 1978, the Malibu became its own model, and not just a trim level of the Chevelle. This generation of the Malibu lasted until 1983, and it wasn't until 1997 when the Malibu made its return for its fifth generation. Since then, the Malibu has remained in production. Unlike the previous Malibus which were rear-wheel drive, the fifth gen and onwards Malibus use a front-wheel drive platform. Since 1997, five generations of the front-wheel drive Malibu have been produced. This 2017 we have here represents the Malibu's ninth generation overall and the fifth generation of the Malibu's post-hiatus front-wheel drive iteration. As of the making of this video, this is the Malibu's current generation. The ninth generation Malibu debuted for the 2016 model year to replace the outgoing eighth gen Boo. The 9th gen Malibu is a 100% overhaul and is larger and more spacious than the outgoing model, yet it also sheds nearly 300 pounds of weight. In addition, the 9th Gen Malibu also has a lighter and stronger body structure that enhances driving dynamics, efficiency, and safety. Also new for the 2016 Malibu are an all-new engine and a host of new tech features. Not only that, but a hybrid version of the Malibu was also introduced that utilizes the powertrain from the Chevrolet Volt. However, the Malibu Hybrid was dropped after 2019. For 2019, the Malibu received a mid-cycle facelift that updated the styling and added a few more features. The base 6-speed automatic transmission was also replaced with a CVT. So obviously, this 2017 is a pre-facelift model. The 9th Gen Malibu rides on GM's E2XX platform, which is also used by vehicles like the internationally sold Opel and Vauxhall Insignia, along with the Buick Regal and the Cadillac XT4 crossover. Trim levels for the 2017 Malibu, excluding the Malibu Hybrid, include the base L, followed by LS, LT as shown here, and the range topping Premier. The base engine, found on L through LT, is a diminutive but efficient 1.5-liter turbocharged inline-four with 163 horsepower. 
If you opt for the Malibu Premier, you get a much more potent 250 horsepower 2 liter turbo 4. As for the Malibu Hybrid, slotted between the LT and Premier, it gets its power from a naturally aspirated 1.8 liter inline 4 and two electric motors that together produce 182 horsepower. The 1.5 liter engine is paired to a 6 speed automatic transmission, while the 2 liter is paired to a 9 speed auto, and the hybrid has a CVT. In Chevrolet's 2017 lineup of front wheel drive based sedans, the mid sized Malibu is slotted between the compact Cruze and the full size Impala. Competitors are cars like Honda's Accord, Toyota's Camry, Ford's Fusion, Mazda's Mazda 6, Hyundai's Sonata, Kia's Optima, and Subaru's Legacy, to name some off the top of my head. The instrument cluster houses four analog gauges, including your tachometer, fuel gauge, temperature gauge, and speedometer, and also has this digital information display. It has a three-spoke design, leather-wrapped and multifunctional steering wheel, sport grips at 10 and 2. On the back of the spokes, you've got your seat track and volume controls for your audio system. Right here, you've got your cruise control. And here, you've got your off-hook button for your hands-free phone, your voice command button, and the controls for your information display in the gauge cluster. Some polished, bright work. The steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. The vehicle's parking brake is foot operated. Brightness adjustment, headlight control. Some of that aluminum looking bright work. Air vent for the driver. Also got this cloth insert on the dashboard and the door panels. On this stock, you have your high beam and turn signal controls. And on this one, you have your wiper controls. Optional on the LT is this 8 inch touchscreen interface for the MyLink infotainment system. This system includes navigation, but I wasn't able to show the nav map on this car. Air vents on either side. Some physical controls for the infotainment system, including your home and back shortcut buttons, and your extra power volume knob and seat track. Hazard light button. Right here, you've got all the controls for your single zone climate control, your fan speed, max defrost, rear defrost, front defrost, different zones, air conditioning with circulation, and temperature. Below here, you have a little bit of storage. You've also got two USB ports and an aux port alongside a 12 volt power outlet. On top of the gear shifter, you have plus and minus buttons to manually shift the transmission. You have two cup holders, a little bit of storage and center console with some storage. As you can see, there's that cloth trim I was talking about, along with the, not really straight up chrome, but it's this more premium looking aluminum, polished looking bright work. Both sun visors do have vanity mirrors and lights. Grab handle for the front passenger on the overhead console. You've got your OnStar roadside assistance and some LED overhead lights. 
a passenger airbag indicator. And finally, here's the MyLink infotainment system. Pretty standard stuff. If you're familiar with any 2010's General Motors infotainment system like IntelliLink and MyLink. A lot of these apps right here, you need internet connection, which this one doesn't. Let's see. Get your audio screen right here. Different settings and whatnot. Pretty simple. With that said, we'll go ahead and roll down the driver's window and take a look at the engine. The driver's window is fully automatic, while the other three are just automatic down. The LT trim adds these 17-inch, 5-split-spoke aluminum rims. The LT can also be had with a set of 18-inch alloys. Under the hood of the Malibu LT is the Malibu's base engine for 2017. The Ecotec 1.5 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve, turbocharged inline 4 with direct injection and variable valve timing. It produces 163 horsepower at 5700 RPM and 184 pound feet of torque from 2500 to 3000 RPM. This engine is paired to a 6 speed automatic transmission with manual shiftability, and the Malibu is front wheel drive. Running on regular unleaded with a 13 gallon fuel tank, the Malibu LT gets an estimated 27 mpg city and 36 mpg highway. It has a McPherson strut front suspension and a multi-link rear suspension. It has four-wheel disc brakes with the front ones being ventilated. As for curb weight, the Malibu LT weighs in at about 3,152 pounds. The rear door panel has more storage, speaker for your sound system, and your window control. Rear passengers, you get air vents right here, along with two USB ports, a household style power outlet, and a traditional car 12 volt power outlet. Both front seats do have storage pockets on the backs, coat hooks back here, and you got a folding rear center armrest with two cup holders. 
This car, of course, competes with the likes of Camry, Accord, and Fusion. Um, pretty spacious back seat for a mid-size sedan. single exhaust The trunk of the non-hybrid 2017 Malibu has a cargo capacity of 15.8 cubic feet. Sixty forty split folding rear seats to increase cargo space. And as you saw earlier on, the fuel door is located on the passenger side. It does have a capless fuel filling system. And that concludes this tour of this 2017 Chevrolet Malibu LT. Thanks for watching.